Hi guys, my name is Snehal and uh, I have created this channel for the sole purpose of sharing information. I have gone through few things or uh, there are few experiences that I can share and it might be helpful for others. Yes, so the topic that we are going to talk today is GCP, Google Cloud Platform and the certifications provided by GCP. Difficulty wise, I would say professional is a little bit tough than associate because you know it's again levels are also like that associate would be an intermediate and then professional would be a little advanced so that is about kind of certification the types of certifications available uh, now let's talk about what certification did i get what what did i study so i went for a, a gcp associate cloud engineer which is uh, which has all the kinds of services that uh, google cloud you know provides and it's kind a of very good like in-depth knowledge of all the services not very in-depth but it almost covers all the services in the uh, gc the google cloud uh to go uh like to go about it if you're confused between which one to go with if you're you know attempting the exams for the first time uh, I am a data engineer but I still chose to go with associate cloud engineering uh, just because I wanted a clear foundation for my uh, Google Cloud right I, I was not much uh, I did not have much hands on so I preferred the associate one but many of my friends have directly gone for professional data engineering so that also could be done. Now there are two ways if you're working in a company uh, and if your company you know helps you out with the vouchers uh, and everything so that can be one thing like uh, you'll be given vouchers from your company and then you can use that to you know literally book the exam otherwise if you're doing it by your own or uh, then there are charges for it which will be mentioned on the uh, website now uh, let's talk about how did i prepare for this exam uh, uh first of all uh if you all are aware there is something called as google cloud skills boost program that google offers uh, that was there with me like my company had given the license to even attempt for those uh, chapters those lectures so uh, it is uh, that is a set of uh, lectures by google itself but uh, but it also has labs and uh, challenge labs so labs will be your hands on practical and challenge labs will be something that you, you you don't have any instructions but you have to follow you have to follow what is uh, given and achieve that without any instruction so ex actually challenge labs are very helpful if you ask me in terms of practical knowledge now this was one path uh, lectures and everything but i wanted an easy way out like something that a layman language and some like proper path so i went for a udemy course okay so uh, the one course that i went for is I, i'll link the course somewhere over here it is from uh, mr ranga and uh, it is a very extensive course uh, it is written there like the duration is written to be 18 hours but uh, if you want to go in depth make notes and everything and everything it, it, it will take you like good enough time to finish with that course so um, that course was something that i did uh, which gave me a very good flow of, of services uh, you know how how did he how to start with what are what is instances and uh, right from instances to databases everything was covered in that course and uh, I liked how it uh, you know like went from service to service and how it uh, how the correlation was shown into the course uh, that gave a little clarity on how it goes right so that is one course that I would recommend uh, apart from this I also went through like I also took some help from a channel from a youtube channel called awesome gcp it has a very good set of videos if you ask me uh satish sir is you know he he has explained it in a very nice way uh, there are around 20 videos for uh, ace that is associate cloud engineer and uh, his way of explaining is great i like that uh, he takes one question for example any kind of question like a question that would come in uh, appear in your exams and then he will tell you how does he approach to that question and how should you approach and how should you think about it and it's a very cool way to learn because then you got to develop your own logical reasoning behind it so i, I like that course uh, i mean like that resource a lot more after that i uh, uh, you know the uh, like my theory part was done my practical part was done i did some labs by my own and uh, 
all of that was done and then, then there was time to attempt for some questions and you know get a reality check on how much do you really know so for that i did not waste much time i just bought another uh, udemy resource which had mock tests in it uh, i will also link that if you want to you know like refer of which course it is i could not complete all of the mock tests it had six of them i could complete three of them and uh, uh, it was pretty good the questions the difficulty level and everything was really like top notch and it actually matched the level of questions that i got in the exam itself so i would say that is a good resource so if you complete six mock tests i think all of the questions will be covered as it is so that is a good resource if you want to you know like check yourself and your knowledge and gain some confidence so uh, that one was there and apart from that i had a website called as uh, exam topics which i referred uh, it had all the mcqs that that would you know like the same kind of mcqs that would come in the examinations so uh, all in all these four to five resources uh, were used by me and uh, i got a pretty good result out of it uh, there is no uh, you know like percentage percentage for passing but i think it is 70% to pass ace after that let's go to the registration process how does it happen so for me uh, like i uh, like i told you uh, uh, once you uh, you know you decide that you want to go for the exam you can search for that website criterion is the official partner to schedule exams register give attempt exams everything so uh, i had a voucher uh, it asks you basic information like your uh, id personal information this there and then uh, while you know like um, scheduling your exam there are two options to give one is online proctored one is remote proctored they have centers where you can go and give exams or else you can give it at your home uh, we will talk about that uh, just in a while and you have to select which one do you need to go for. yeah so you can then book it and uh, you know they will send out an email with all the details and you have to keep an eye on your exams and your preparations uh, it could take somewhere around one month if you are working if and if you're not working if you're a student you can uh, complete your preparation within 15 days i suppose i took more than one month <laughs> but uh, yeah that's it and then uh, right uh, just before the exam like uh, one day prior to the exam you have to download and br download a browser that they uh, uh, they have mentioned in the website the uh, you know the, the requirements are also there your system requirement requirements must meet their requirements and uh, please make sure that everything is well uh, settled uh, once uh, you once the time of exam starts the button of uh, you know launch an exam uh, is at, uh, enabled so it's actually enabled 10 minutes prior and until 10 minutes later of your exam time so you can launch the exam by that button and then they will be direct redirecting you to and to the to the browser that you recently downloaded right so make sure that you don't have pop-ups enabled in your browser if you do have uh, it will not come up so you know you have to disable the pop-up and then go to that browser that browser will make sure it kills all other ex applications on your phone or on your laptop and uh, then you will start your exam after that also there is one more uh, monitoring session that happens so uh, it so it's ai uh, based i guess but uh, yeah um, the monitoring part i'll tell you it's very it's very like a particular so first of all they'll ask you uh, to show your four walls then your desk you know you have to take your laptop like this and show them your desk nothing is allowed on the desk no water bottle no notebook no pen nothing is uh, uh, allowed 